Volcanoes, force of destruction or new life. Fire, explosions, whole towns gone in seconds. Volcanoes don't mess around. They blow up like Earth's having the worst mood swing ever. But here's the weird part. After all that chaos, you get beaches, palm trees, and islands straight out of a postcard. So are volcanoes just giant angry holes in the ground, or is this Earth's way of hitting reset? Let's find out. Volcanoes are nature's drama queens. Volcanoes are the drama queens of the natural world, and not the quiet kind. They don't ease into things, they don't send a, hey I'm about to explode, text. Nah, when a volcano's ready to go, it goes. Full on lava cannonballs, flying through the air, pyroclastic flows that roll downhill like God's own steamroller, and ash clouds so thick the sun clocks out early. It's not a weather event, it's a full blown planetary tantrum. And the best part, volcanoes don't just ruin your weekend plans, they redraw the map. You could leave your house next to a peaceful hill and come back to a lava filled crater that looks like a boss fight arena. Mountains split open like busted soda cans, entire islands get cooked up from scratch. Earth's basically saying, I'm feeling creative today, so it's time to remodel. Now, lava from these volcanoes is not just hot, it's 2000 degrees Fahrenheit hot. That's rock so mad it turned liquid. Step in it and your leg turns into barbecue skewers. This isn't hot tub heat, this is back away slowly or become a cautionary tale heat. And the noise? People think volcanoes just kind of ooze stuff. Nope, they scream. Some of them explode with the force of a nuclear bomb. No joke, it's like Earth bottling up its issues for centuries and finally snapping. But for all that chaos, volcanoes aren't just here to wreck stuff. Weirdly, they're also nature's way of hitting the restart button. Sometimes they leave behind fresh soil, brand new islands, and landscapes that end up looking like a tropical paradise after all the screaming stops. But wait until you hear what else these volcanoes can do. Yes, volcanoes wreck everything. Let's not sugarcoat it, volcanoes don't erupt, they straight up ruin lives. These things have wiped out entire cities like they were hitting the delete key. They torch forests, flip ecosystems like a bored toddler with a Lego set, and leave survivors standing around like, why did we think living next to a lava spewing death mountain was a good idea? Pompeii turned into a giant ash flavoured time capsule because someone ignored the rumbling. Krakatoa blew itself to bits so violently it literally changed Earth's climate and gave the world goth looking sunsets for months. Eyjafjallajökull? Yeah, that Icelandic volcano that no one can pronounce the name of. It grounded 100,000 flights, ruined honeymoons, and probably made meteorologists cry in the bathroom during live broadcasts. Volcanoes don't care about your hiking trip or destination wedding. If your Wi-Fi cuts out and the sky turns grey, don't bother rebooting the router. Grab your shoes and run. But here's the weird twist. For all the chaos they cause, volcanoes also leave behind some pretty insane gifts. Like actual paradise. But volcanoes also create. Yeah, that fiery explosion of death? Give it a minute and it cools down into actual land. Hawaii, that entire vacation hotspot exists because volcanoes pulled up, made themselves at home and never left. Iceland, basically a lava dump that turned into a country and that hot spring you're sitting in, pretending it's helping your back pain? That's magma powered bathwater, my guy. And all that ash they spit out like they're having a tantrum, it turns into the kind of soil that grows pineapples, bananas, and everything else in your overpriced smoothie bowl. Volcanoes destroy your farm, then give it back with bonus fruit. Oh, and the heat is not just for scaring tourists, it can literally power entire cities. Clean energy from Earth's rage issues. Only a volcano can blow up your house, then hand you a spa, an island, and renewable electricity like no hard feelings. But the craziest part is, they don't just make land, they bring life back from zero. Life rises from the ashes, literally. Volcano goes boom, everything's dead. Looks like a level from a post-apocalypse video game. But give it a little time and mother nature pulls a comeback faster than a washed up boxer in a reboot movie. 
Take Mount St. Helens in 1980. It blew its top like it caught someone cheating. Everything around it was torched, but within months, moss started creeping in. Bugs showed up like it was happy hour. Birds flew in like, yo, rent's cheap here. And suddenly this ashy wasteland turned into a wildlife Airbnb. That volcanic soil is like steroids for plants. Nutrient packed, super fertile, and basically irresistible. Plants go nuts, bugs follow, then birds, then more life. It's Earth's version of burn it all down and come back stronger. A full reboot, only this time it's greener, louder and crawling with life. But seriously, how does total destruction end up being the launch pad for something better? The great paradox, destruction equals creation. So volcanoes destroy stuff on purpose, so they can build something even better. Yeah, they're basically, it's a trust the process thing only the process involves fireballs and mass extinction. These lava-chucking beasts literally made continents. They built the ocean floor, they even belched out gases that helped cook up our atmosphere. Without volcanoes, we'd just be soggy meat sacks floating on a watery rock with no land, no air, and zero shot at brunch. Think of them like the world's most reckless construction crew. First, they bulldoze the whole neighborhood, violently, then they start planting flowers in the wreckage like, you're welcome. It's chaos. It's genius. It's how the earth levels up. But don't go thinking volcanoes are nurturing. They're not some earth mom gently growing tomatoes. They're more like that unpredictable art dude who lights his own canvas on fire and calls it expression, then paints something better in the ashes. Volcanoes are wild, unpredictable and loud. They're the plot twist of the natural world. One minute peaceful, the next minute cancelling flights, ruining crops and cooking landscapes. But they're not just destroyers. They're recyclers, creators and Earth's version of control or delete. So the next time you see smoke on the horizon, don't just panic. You might be watching something begin, not end. Unless it's your camping trip. In that case, yeah, maybe pack up and go. Also, have you ever seen an active volcano? Let me know in the comments and subscribe because you know you want it.